All right, this is the One Touch Octel Fierce. Yesterday, I was trying to root it, and I bricked it. The screen wouldn't come on, it wouldn't turn on. I'd plug it in, and the little white light up here for the charge would come on. You see it's working now. I'm going to show you how you can fix it when you get the black screen and nothing else happens. Or at least this is what ha worked for me. I already took the back off. There's an aluminum shield over this battery because it's an unattachable battery, quote unquote. You have to take that off to be able to get to it. And then with a flathead screwdriver, a small one, and a very tiny Phillips screwdriver, um, you have to pry underneath here and break it loose of, of where it's sitting. I've already done all that, so I'm just telling you how to do this instead of showing you. You have to, well, I'm showing you anyways. There's a bunch of spots for screws. There's two tiny ones here. You have to get those out, and there's one right here that you have to get out. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other screws that are bigger. Here's the screws I have so far out, and I just have this last one, this little mini one out. Done. Now it says you can't detach the battery. Now in order to get to everything else, along the edge of the screen, you pop it loose. Got to kind of get your nail in there. It does come loose just like any other case. It's real easy to get it loose. This right here is the clip for the battery. It does pop out and it pops right back in very easily. It is still kind of delicate. But so you know, it's still working. Right now I'm going to shut it off. Come on. Power off. Come on, power off. There we go. Now this is what your phone, chances are, will look like. If you plug it in, the little white light will come on, but nothing else will happen. Just vibrated on me. Alright. Then you can take, release the battery. And that pops right out, just like so. Pop it right back into place after you let it sit for a minute or so. Let the power drain out of it. It can be squirrely. Don't push too hard. But it fits right back into place. Now the buttons kind of slip around, so you got to be careful about the volume and the power button, and you got to set it in there just right. Now this does void your warranty, but it'll save you from having to go get a different phone. Turn it on. I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Now it's going to make a liar out of me. And as you can see, <laughs> it's still apart, so it's the same one. No trickery. I know a lot of people like to put crap on here.
and voila and it comes back on this will work this worked for me this is what I had to do so I didn't have and you know obviously you got to put your screws back but don't forget where the tiny ones are I think those are the most important because they're the tiniest but that's how oh, yeah. it should work I'm gonna flip it over and show you that it still works see there it is this was again bricked the night before today and now it works again so that's how you fix your phone people